this video demonstrates how to take apart a Volvo key fob on, in my case, for a 2004 Volvo S60. It is part number 8626556. So basically, step one involves getting a flathead screwdriver. And for demonstration purposes, this is not a flathead. Just put the flathead in there, pop the lid off. If the lid looks like this, it comes off it's simply a piece of plastic with a red washer. And once that's off, there is a T9 screw that holds the two pieces together. Get yourself a T9 bit and a screwdriver, pop that out. Once you've done that, the two pieces slide apart. Sideways. What I'm saying here is incorrect. The, um, so the key piece actually is. slides away so from the head of the T9 bolt. That's how you pull the two pieces piece apart, not left or right. Click back together. Um, by sliding the two pieces together, either one, either this way or that way. They don't get pulled apart like this. Don't try that. Slide it back together like this. And you can see my problem is that the spring is done. So this has been a long process of a bit of trial and error. I got some info on Matthew's Volvo site, which basically suggested what you need to do is cut a, th a thin, thin line on the opposite side of the the key portion of the fob right through to here to the tip and so I started with a regular exacto knife with a non serrated blade and the good news is I was able to start I was able to make a notch a nice clean notch to start the process off and then after dragging the blade over several times and then using a new blade I was I made limited progress in a very long period of time so I then switched to a serrated blade which worked slightly better and I was able to get I don't know like uh, uh, three mils over a long period of time by slicing through with the serrated blade and then I remembered that I had a coping saw in the basement and with a coping saw you can actually make some really good progress coping saw wouldn't be as good for starting the job off because it would bounce all over but once it's in there, once you've got a slot made, you can make some decent progress with one of these. And uh, really, it's just a wood blade, so I probably would do better if I got a blade with more teeth per inch. But it's doing the trick. I've cut it oh, far enough. You see, I had to cut all the way to the edge of the opening for the key. And, and I think I've cut it enough because what I'm seeing is now when I press on one side, the other side lifts. So next step will be to pry it apart with a screwdriver. I didn't need to use a screwdriver. All I had to do was pry with my fingernail on one side and the two pieces came apart. Two pieces are now side by side. And what you'll notice is um, Matt, the guy in the Matthews Volvo site was absolutely right. And you need to cleanly cut through all of this uh, to, get, to get the two pieces apart. And that is reflected on the other side as well. You'll notice um, this is the transponder that you need to be very careful of. And it is still embedded in there. Apparently it's embedded in some glue and glass, so I'll have to be careful about that. But I came close to cutting near the transponder, but still was, I don't know, a mil shy of, of damaging it. Um, key comes off, you'll notice the same, the piece that people say is breaks is this is totally correct you can see that most of the piece is there but there's a piece left over in the other part of the remote so that is the bit you need to replace to fix the fob assuming of course your problem was the same as mine is taken off here's how it looks this piece comes out and you'll notice the spring fits into an indentation inside that piece clearly the piece is broken the two other bits are right here. Key comes right off. There is a washer underneath the key. It fits over this circular piece like so. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else you need to take apart. Uh, you get a close up here of the 
glass encapsulated transponder. Not much to see, but really, as you can probably appreciate, best to leave it in and not mess with it at all. Aside from the cut lines, these two pieces I think will meet together just fine once I've uh, fixed the button and put some epoxy glue back on these surfaces. So you'll see there's a little male insert on one side, female insert on the other. It doesn't look like there was any glue used on the rest of the, the remote. It's just this bit here that needs to be fastened back together. I may put some extra glue in there just to make sure it holds, uh, but it fits nicely back in one piece, like so. There we go. Oriented correctly, should should do just fine. There you go.